really, really good. There was a storyline in there where the Suge Knight goes into your office and says, you're not showing enough respect, I think he said. Uh, to yeah, you. exactly. Exactly. Would you mind yeah, recreating like, that uh, one for everybody here listening on Bonus Licks? What happened? And, uh, um, you well, know. this was what happened was Suge when Suge started Suge started talking to Dre and talking Dre into leaving Ruthless. Yeah. Um, but Dre was Dre was making so much money. Dre always had the same car as Easy BMWs. He always lived in the same kind of mansion that Easy had. Dre was being treated very well, but he got kind of greedy, and he wanted to be part owner of the company. Okay. But Easy owned the company. Okay. So Suge started gangstering us. He started coming with his bloods. He was one of the bloods to our offices in Woodland Hills, and uh, so Jerry called one of his buddies, this guy named Mike Klein, this Israeli guy who is a serious dude, okay. way more serious than should. So Klein comes into the picture, and and things are really tense at the time, and Klein's, uh, they're having a big powwow at our office, and, and Suge is there, and Klein's there, and Jerry's there, and Easy's there, and I'm sitting in my office, and uh, Suge walks in and closes the door behind him, and he walks up to me and he says, man, you've been disrespecting Dr. Dre and Michelle A., Man, and I ain't happy about that. And I said, man, what do you mean, Shook? I do everything for them. I love those guys. I work for them all the time. I help them move into houses and buy cars and stuff. He said, no, nah, man, you've been disrespecting them. I want you to write on this piece of paper, you're never going to disrespect them again. And I said, I'm not going to do that. And he walks right in front of me, and I'm sitting in my chair, and he's got a gun in his pants. And he said, you know what I'm going to do if you don't sign it. Wow. So it was kind of the first time in my life I ever backed down from anybody. Yeah. But, I, you know, hey, it's Suge Knight, so I guess it's okay to back down from him. But, you know, he was just playing me and punking me. And, yeah, he was trying to just uh, intimidate you. Well, which he did very well. Yeah. But what happened was after that meeting, I think Mike Klein told him that if the threat still continued to happen, he was going to be chopped up in little pieces and put in... In, in in dumpsters all around L.A. Wow. So that was the end of that. Yeah. So at that point, they they they, re- they negotiated. It was an override. You know, they started Death Row. Easy made money on everything Death Row did. You know, we kept recording. You know, so we had bone thugs. So we kept moving. We didn't, you know, that, 